The, the, the map is, is not quite as simple as that. There are other uh, elements uh, involved in, in what the net cost is, particularly when you do a carve out like that, uh, that there are uh, tax implications uh, as well, but that's not disclosed and I, and I can't go into too much detail. But um, we are very excited about uh, the remainder of the business that we are acquiring. It's an area uh, that is core to our strategy, uh, biopharma services, whether they be contract manufacturing or contracts uh, research organizations and other services to the biopharma industry uh, is an area that we're very focused on and indeed uh, one where we have several assets uh, already uh, in our portfolio, including one other contract manufacturer in the U.S. by the name of Right Dose. So um, uh, it, it is something that um, is, is core and uh, we are very comfortable and indeed very excited about the prospects uh, of taking that business forward and uh, growing it to its full potential. Do you think that this deal then is, is ultimately the final piece of the production puzzle overall in the business? Yeah, I think, you know, that's a specific question for, for Novo uh, Nordisk to, to answer. But I think as long as uh, demand is there, uh, then, you know, capacity uh, needs uh, to continuously uh, be, uh, be be increased. And uh, I think you're right by saying one piece of the puzzle, because there is this element, but of course, there are also what I would call uh, organic uh, initiatives in existing sites uh, to increase uh, capacity as well. But, uh, you know, whether it's the last piece or not, is very difficult to, to gauge, but there's going to be a lot of work ahead of the company uh, in the coming years to ensure that they can get to as many patients as possible on a global basis um, uh, for the treatment of diabetes and obesity. Um, let's let's talk about you know our following your due diligence uh, and and you know what changes you see having to be necessary then for Catalan to fit into your portfolio as you'd like it. Of course, there have been uh, a few quality issues in the past with this business. Yes, so I think the issues that you are referring to uh, relate uh, to um, the, the the sites that actually Novo Nordisk uh, will be acquiring. Um, but uh, we have completed our due diligence, of course, like you do ahead of uh, any uh, transaction uh, to our satisfaction. Uh, and we are very excited that we are acquiring a quality business uh, with very strong growth tailwinds. Um, in Davos, you spoke, sir, just, uh, you know, significantly about uh, a fair array of deals to be done then in 2024. You've, uh, you know, boosted things quite significantly, even making that purchase of Manipal hospitals as well out of India. Um, will you be continuing to, to make purchases, even extending the likes of Thermo Fisher as well? Uh, absolutely. I mean, as I said uh, in Davos, you're absolutely right. And we did announce this morning uh, Manipal and uh, in Davos, I did speak about Asia and, and India being uh, a priority. So, you know, our level of activity uh, will will remain the same across all of our teams. Uh, and when I say all of our teams, that's not just on the life science side, but we mustn't forget that 50% of our investment portfolio is non-life science. It's what we call our capital investments team. And there we're, we're very active in a number of areas, including infrastructure investment and real estate. Uh, 